Okay guys, so for today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make some easy and quick macaroons. They're going to end up looking like this. Mine are kind of really big, but if you like them big, then you just stay tuned for the video. And make sure you guys like and subscribe if you guys are not already. And if you guys are subscribed, make sure to hit the bell notification to, be, to get notified every single time I upload a new video. All right guys, so to start the video, we are gonna do the powdered part. So what we're gonna be doing is use two cups of powdered sugar and put it in the bowl, okay? And now you are gonna grab your one cup of almond flour and pour it right on top of it, okay? Then you're gonna use one fourth cup of sugar and you're just gonna whisk it all together kind of and make it really like smooth. Then if you guys want to, you guys could also Put it into a get very fine. All right, now we're gonna go into the liquid part. You're gonna use three egg whites, only egg whites, okay? And you're gonna whisk it until it gets very fluffy. As you guys see, mine is already getting fluffy, so I'm gonna add actually one fourth teaspoon of vinegar. I'm using this as a replacement for cream of tartar, so I'm using vinegar as a replacement. Now what you're going to do is you are going to grab the powder that you already mixed before and you're going to put it into the liquid of the eggs. You're just pouring it in there. Alright, now I'm just going to mix it together with my spoon, not with the machine. Just that you just want to do it until you get a very good consistency right now i am doing my color dye i decided to make it blue because why not make it blue it's very cute i was just putting more to see what color i what color it made and to the desire of the color i wanted now i am just mixing it again with a spoon and i'm just mixing it and mixing it until i get that very smooth texture that you desire or want Make sure you just keep doing it until it's very smooth. That is your goal, to get it smooth like that. See how mine is very cute blue. I had to add a couple more drops, but I finally got the color. It's very nice. As you guys see, I'm showing you. Look how smooth it is getting. So that's good. Now what you're going to do is go to a piping bag. If you do not have a piping bag, you could use a spoon and just make it in make it into a circle when you put it on the tray but i do have a piping bag so i'm putting it into my piping bag i'm just getting my piping bag set up here like folding it for it won't get dirty you know now i'm just gonna put in all the filling this is gonna be the outside part of the macaroon like the bread part of it so you guys see i'm just doing it into a little circle circular method is very easy i did mine pretty big you can actually do them more smaller than this they do spread out so keep in mind they do spread out i kind of this was my first time doing it so it did spread out okay now make sure you tap the pan against the table and get all the air bubbles out because you do not want no air bubbles just keep doing it until they're all gone you guys see now we're going to be doing the filling. So the recipe is actually 7 tablespoons of butter. But since I'm using this rich Parish Iris butter, I did like 4 tablespoons because this is very rich butter. And you could get a lot out of it. Now what you guys saw is I put 3 egg yolks. Basically the leftover of the, the egg that I had because I got the egg whites from the previous now i'm gonna do one teaspoon and a half of vanilla and just whisking it in there trying to get that cute color all right now what i'm gonna do is with some milk you can use any type of milk you want i'm just using some lactose intolerant milk i'm doing three and a half tablespoons of milk
yes i did say lactose intolerant you could do it with lactose intolerant milk and it works perfectly fine a lot of my household is lactose intolerant that is why i use that milk now i'm just whisking and whisking and whisking until i get that texture that i want and i'm putting some color dye to get it to that blue honestly this step i it took a lot of blue to make now i'm just putting it into a tiny little pan and i'm gonna put it in the stove all right and i already poured some sugar i poured one fourth cup of sugar now i am putting in the macaroon bread into the oven and i already have my filling on the stove heating up setting my timer up it's gonna be 18 minutes it could go from 18 to 20 minutes you do have to have your things set all right now you want that you want to see how your filling is is getting thicker once you get it to that thick consistency it'll be very good now what i'm doing is i am gonna put my filling on top and just put it in the middle and just get that cute little macaroon look and then after this i did put it in the fridge and after we ate and ate some after dinner i did not record that unfortunately but they were very good and huge also a quick little thing that i did not say in the video that kind of did forget is when you have the the bread type of deal like the outside of the macaroon you do actually have to leave it out you have to wait 30 minutes before putting it into the oven but it could get a little hard and it won't technically spread out too much it kind of prevents that but it's a, just a quick tip that everybody does but i did not i forgot to film that but i did as you guys see leave it out but i didn't film me leaving it out just wanted to show you guys how i put it in you can put it in with a piping bag but i did put it in with my spoon because i did not want to put it into my piping bag i was just too lazy so yeah thanks for watching guys that's the end of the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video